congratulations on the world premiere and being picked up for distribution. How, how important is it for the story to be told worldwide? Thank you. Uh, first of all, I, I think it's very important worldwide because uh, there's uh, issues that are going on today that were going on when this film was made. And so we're into a part that uh, people need to kind of uh, awaken to social justice and, and making the world a better place. And I think our film delivers that message. That's what really helped. All the people that were in that movement back in the day are still social conscious and we're doing works. But there's a young generation that we want to reach of today and the future because they can do it just like the, the slogan by the Lord's Huerta and says that, Si se puede. Si se puede. And that's a powerful statement telling people, yes, you can. And that's my, to me, that's the purpose of this film, to reach people and to know that they can too. So we're reaching out to all those young folks, for sure. And you know, there's a long tradition worldwide, internationally, of artists collaborating and working with social movements. Um, I think not a lot of people around the world internationally know about the story of how artists uh, worked with uh, the farm workers movement. But it was really something that was very vital and really propelled um, Chicano art, Chicano music, in particular Chicano theater, uh, in a way that became recognized not just in California but nationally and internationally. And we kind of touched on it over 10 years in the making. Can we describe, like, media has evolved so much, and for uh, the power of movements to be told everywhere, how important and to see the evolution be told along with your guys' story? Um, say that again. <laughs> with the power of media evolving and, right. and movements being able to be, I mean, you're hearing the movements from across the world, and we're hearing it. How is it important now that this, you know, something that maybe took place in one place, you hear it everywhere? Well, I think there's there's two parts of it. One is that it's a, a really uh, powerful story that gets told and that will impact, I think, people across the world, uh, emotionally and, and intellectually in terms of information about the movement. But also, I think that the accessibility of the media, which is part of what you're talking about, is has changed since then. So that young people now can access the media, the, the means of producing stories like these, and applying it to their own interests, their own lives, and their own issues. Yeah, I agree. And uh, to me, it's like now we can touch, like you say, the worldwide with the heart. Our hearts can reach other hearts. And before, we couldn't basically do that. I could just speak with my neighbor and my family and whoever. Now, we can reach out. So that's to me, that's a blessing to have all the media the way it is these days, progressing and improved and reaching everybody. Because this is everybody's song, and the media can handle different types of songs by different musicians, artists, painters, to tell the story, whatever the story is. There's many stories. We all have a story. And so I, that's my dream, that everybody can tell their story and the media will help.